the tools that are going to require for the job are going to be a level, a tape measure, a pencil, a drill, a drill bits to pre-drill your screws, screwdriver, a socket wrench, and some zip ties. What I want to do first is show you, before you even purchase one of our mounts, you need to identify what type of studding you have in your walls. By using a stud finder, you'll be able to identify where your studs are located. And most commonly, 16 inches on center is what you're going to find. In rare cases, you'll find 24 inch on center. If you do find that you have 16 inch on center studding, all of our mounts will work for you on our website. If you have 24 inch on center, just read the description and make sure that the mount is going to work with your particular application. On the back of your television, you'll find that you have four screw holes. Sometimes they have little rubber grommets that you're going to have to pop out. But this is where you're going to attach the arms of the mount. All the supplied screws you're going to need are going to be right here in your hardware kit. As you can see, they're very heavy duty screws that come with the, uh, the equipment. What you're going to want to do is sort through all the screws and, make, and find the appropriate screw that fits your model television. And that looks like the right size. The rest of them are just going to be spare parts for other grand televisions. What you want to do is install the arms to the mount with the wing nut, if you have a tilting mount, toward the outside so you can adjust it later. The screws are too long for your television, just use some of the spacers and the washers. As you'll note, on the back of these arms, you'll have several mounting holes. And this is for different style TVs and different size uh, mounting configurations. Just a quick tip, never use your screw gun to mount the brackets on the back of the television. Uh, just too much power for the TV and just in case you go all the way through the screen. Once you've secured the arms to the back of the television, just keep in mind that the stand that it was provided with that you may have the TV on, you're going to have to remove that. In general, there's going to be four screws here, and the TV is going to lift off of the stand itself before you mount it on, on the wall. Okay, and when locating where you're going to put your television, keep in mind there's no standard height to mount your TV. Whether it's in a living room and you're going to be in a seated position, you're going to want to sit in that position to really eyeball where the TV goes. A lot of people want to mount the TV higher in the living room, but when you're actually seated, the TV is going to want to be lower to be at eye level. So we're actually mounting this in a bedroom, so we're going to be mounting the TV a little bit higher on the wall so it's a clear view to the bed. What you're going to want to do is take your stud finder and identify your stud locations and mark them with a pencil. Once you have your studs identified, you're going to want to get the height as to where you're going to want to mount your TV. You're going to want to take your back plate, place it over the pre-marks for your studs, and mark where you're going to actually drill your holes to mount your bracket. Our brackets have a built-in level, which make it easier, but you may want to double check yourself with another level. Before installing the lag bolts, you're always going to want to pre-drill the holes to make sure that the lag's going smoother. You have two options when routing your cables to the location. 
is hire a licensed professional to route your electrical outlets up to the television and also run your AV cables to the TV as well. Or if you're an advanced candy man, you could certainly cut a hole in your wall and snake the wires down and feed them back out and plug in your components. Uh, in this application, we're just going to route the, the cables down the wall and plug them into the components. Right now, we're just removing the base from the television, getting ready to mount it on the wall. It's recommended to make all of your video and power connections while the TV is off the wall for easier installation. Once you're ready to hang the TV, and again, keep in mind, any TV larger than this, you're going to want two people to help you mount it. But all your connections are made. The arms are in the right position. Simply hook the arm over the top of the mount and drop it in place. At this point, you can angle the television to the desired angle and set your arms in place. The last step is to secure the two screws 